hi guys welcome to my back to my channel today i want to start a new project um i am going to be gutting these books and i'm going to be making journals out of them i could have um i could have um and increasing the spine because the spine here is about what is this three and a half centimeters but I like my spines thick and I like chunky journals. So, yeah, that's not good enough. So the first thing we have to do, and these are two very, very beautiful books that I got off uh, or got on eBay. And uh, this is what they're like inside. Really, really beautiful illustrations of flowers and plants. And the same on this side too. So these are going to be good. And uh, the size, this these ones measure 17 centimeters by uh, 24 and a half. So they're not exactly a five size, which is, let me show you an A5 size paper. So this, this is a five. This is a four. This is a five. So we have a lot of space left. So I'll have to print my digitals on um a3 paper and a4 there'll be a mix of different sizes in here but this is just to give you an idea of this is an unusual size but we can work with this too um so the first thing how i got or removed the all the pages from my books are i know there's some book lovers out there cringing at what i'm about to do but yeah these are books that nobody wants anymore so <laughs> i use either my um what is this called exacto knife or this um box cutter well in this case it's a carpet thing and i hope you can see so what i do is just cut this off here cut from here but you have to be very careful that you don't uh, if you are going to keep the book or the cover as is you have to be careful that you don't go through and damage this part here to me that doesn't matter so much but I'll still do it carefully I hope I'm in frame just carefully down the Starting is always difficult. They really make these things so well. Okay, so that's the first part that's done, as you can see. And then we go to the other side. Which is normally easier yeah I'm gonna get this here right so that's done without damaging the, the pages here or anything so and these pages will, of course, be put to very, very good use. So now we have our, our cover. And, um, yeah, if I wanted to keep this size, I would have um, just put a, um, a fabric in here, you know, to make it strong again. But that's not what I want. I want... A thicker spine so yeah so what we do is this now and I'm going to leave the cover as is this is going to be the cover of my journal and this is going to be the back so I need to we're gonna cut right here at this um, what should I call this this kink here 
Do you see where am I in focus? I can't even see right here. So that we are able to, let me just demonstrate. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I need to come to as far as close to the, um, I need to do it from this side, as close to the, uh, as far away from this edge here and as close to this because I want this, this spine is going to be a bookmark. I'm going to use it as a bookmark. So I need to bring it here, right up to here. Make sure that I'm not cutting it. So there and there. And then I take this this thing here and I, oh, that wasn't straight. Dang. Right, so I've separated that. Made a bit of a mistake there, but that's fine. And then the other side as well. Here and here. Yep. And then again. And it's done it's done so the reason why I want this access here is because when I I'm gonna fold it over like this when I put it on the on the new spine if you know what I mean so that you don't see this exposed bits here so I'm gonna put glue in here and then fold it over over so it looks neat it's gonna look neat right and the material that i'm putting it on is let me pause this because i don't have it here just a second okay so i'm back i found my uh, piece of cloth that's gonna be the spine so this is the thick kind of canvasy uh, material that uh, i coffee dye so you can get this really grungy look and uh, and I've placed the one of the um, covers on it and I am just going to let me look carefully here I'm just gonna follow this line and cut a straight line so I can get the spine is the camera shaking yes it is okay so here we go i take my long ruler i take the um rotary blade thing and i just line it up here forgot oops hair all over the place as well yeah 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 Careful not to cut the book as well. And cut. Right. Okay. And then I just... Because I have two books, the spines are going to be 10 centimeters thick. Yeah, I like really chunky books. So what do I do? What do I do? I need to put, I need to make sure I have enough for each side. Let's see like that. Yeah. So I need to cut it about here. So what's happening here is this is the spine so uh, let me try to show you so it's gonna be on either side of it like this so this is what I'm talking about 
is the spine here. Okay. And this gets glued on the inside here like that. And I'm looking at this and wondering whether this is too dark. And I need to... Hmm. Or maybe not. We shall have to look again. Mm. Yeah, it looks fine. It will go with the... Yeah. Let me check. Hang on again, guys. Yeah, so I've decided I'm, I'm keeping this, uh, this color. This uh, coffee dyed. Um, canvas and as I said guys my videos are just I will we go uh, we create I create and just go along I go along and create yeah that's the correct English um, okay so what's the next step now the next step is to uh, measure the spine so that you know where to stick down the the book boards so we are going to have a 10 centimeter spine deciding on which side it doesn't really matter this would have been better but yeah it's okay here it's fine and excuse my decrepit cutting mat but uh it just shows that a lot of work has been done on this mat, as you can see. <laughs> All right. Just take a pencil. Well, actually, let's do it this way. Make sure it's straight. And just draw lines on either side of this 10 centimeter wide cardstock right so that it's easier to find uh, to to find where you need to place the the covers okay that is why I put this here don't really need to take it to the end it's already far enough mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 